Okay, so I want to show you how to combine different images in Photoshop and make them look like they belong in the same uh, composition. So in this case, I have this picture here of the woman in the beach, and then I have a leopard image that I uh, I preemptively cut out from the background, and then I have a doggy, a dog here, a puppy. So I want to compose these three elements into this image. So to do that, as you can see, I already brought in my images and I usually just, just want to place them in an area that they look like they could belong. So in this case, I'm going to have the leopard here on the side and then the dog here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to fix the lighting so that the lighting matches between all three uh, subjects here. So let's fix the, the leopard here. So we're going to click on curves. I'm going to hold down the ALT key in between these two layers so the curves and the leopard layer and that's so that the curves adjustment layer only affects the leopard so let's go to our red then just gonna reduce that let's go to our blue and increase the blue just a little bit more now this is an overcast uh, lighting situation for her, so I want to make sure that it's the same type of lighting for the uh, leopard as well. So I think that looks okay. So that kind of fixes the leopard. Uh, for the puppy, I think he's already kind of good for the image. Uh, let's see if we can also do something with them. So let's do the same thing and add a curves. Okay, I think that looks fine. So for the leopard, we want to fix the uh, shadows because he has zero, no shadows at all. So one thing you can do is uh, just make a new layer on top and then use the brush tool, press the B key. I'm going to set this to a softer brush and then just kind of paint that under the leopard. There we go, and then we can just change the opacity. Now, kind of something like that. Obviously, uh, I would recommend you just take your time and then just make sure that uh, you know, it's not so cheaply made. So I'm gonna make a new layer and then just do the same. Maybe just a little bit darker underneath him. And then reduce the opacity for that one. Okay, so that's semi okay. It's a little bit. I mean, something like this. Okay, I think that looks better. I think that grounds them, grounds the uh, leopard a lot better. And we can do the same thing with the puppy here. Just kind of paint that in there. Okay, so I think this looks much better. And for the final composition, I want to like maybe do our levels on the whole thing. You give it a bit more contrast. Then I'm going to change the uh, just the overall lighting on the whole thing. Well, something like that. So I think so. There we go. I think this looks pretty pretty fair. I would probably go ahead and go beyond this and just change the uh, background as well, just to you know change it up a bit but but yeah this is kind of like how you usually would compose different elements into one image you will bring in different elements and then just make sure you match the lighting and then make sure that all the objects are grounded 
and uh, so that they look like they belong somewhat. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. I mean, this is pretty. This was pretty quick and just kind of rough, but you get the idea of how to do it. So yeah, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe.